Hey guys, some of you might not be super familiar with my face, and that's because I don't really show it that much. I've been using this monkey guy, uh, not him, a different one. But I'm showing it today because of a joke that I wanted us to do at the start here. So without further ado, let's get to the Steven Universe Fortnite. So, I've been working on this scene since around the time the Dragon Ball event happened back in Chapter 3, Season 3. But with all the other projects I'm constantly working on, this sort of got lost in the shuffle. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at who all is going to be in the Battle Pass. Now, for the characters pre-Page 10, it doesn't really matter. There can be some fun ones, maybe a storyline skin or two, not important. What is important is the tier 100 skin. Steven! Steven will have selectable styles, and his default look will be his look from future. But you will be able to unlock more through challenges that you'll unlock when you obtain the skin. It doesn't really matter what those challenges are exactly, but you'll have four of them, each one pertaining to a character NPC that we'll get to later. For now, let's go over his other styles. One option he'll have is to take his jacket off or leave it on. This will work with any of the other styles we go over here in just a second. The second option is actually three, but it is what color his shirt will be. Classic red, movie cyan, or future slash default black. The third and final option he will have is the pink Steven alt you will unlock this alt after completing all four challenges, and you will actually unlock an emote for this. This emote will have Steven scream in anger, pushing out pink energy all around him, and turning him into this version of the character. Now let's talk about the rest of his set, specifically the items on the free side of the page, starting with the emoticon, Peridot. This emoticon will have her head pop up, then her arm, and finally, she will open her hand, revealing her green bubble. For those who don't know, a bubble gem has been KO. Next is Pickaxe, which is going to work like one of those one-handed attached ones, his shield. This shield will also have one selectable style that will mimic the diamond shields he makes while in his diamond form, and will have a slightly different sound while swinging. For the last free cosmetic, he will have an emote to go with the shield. This emote will be a pickaxe summon emote and will have Steven summon his shield. This can obviously be used with any skin because it's free. Duh. This of course lets you use a different pickaxe as the main one and allows you to switch to his during the match if you so choose. The reverse animation to get rid of it will look something like this. Now on to the premium rewards. First off, his contrail. I didn't really know what else to do other than just add his bubbles to his hands and give it a pink trail effect. If you guys have any better ideas, leave them in the comments below. For his glider, I wanted to go a bit crazy and represent... <laughs> another character, but also do what Epic might do and release his actual glider in the item shop later. We'll get to it, don't worry. But for now, let me show you the Spinel glider. She'll come down, swing her legs together, grab your hands, and make a honestly really loud helicopter sound. As for the animation your character does during this, it's... Next up, we go to the V-Bucks, but then the next actually cool thing is the loading screen, which has all the diamonds murals on it. Pretty cool and super ominous. Next is the wrap, which I've had a hard time coming up with, but after a long time, I think a white wrap with pink rose vines and flowers would make the most sense. 
His back bling is a real fun one and is reactive because every elimination you make will add a bubble to your back. The first will add a big bubble, about the size of a normal back bling, and every subsequent one will add a smaller one until about 10. And then, wait, what is, <laughs> oh, that's right. If you press it, it goes away. Whew. That was a close one. Anyway, after about 10, they will just start to glow every time, as to not clutter the screen. Okay, so now that we've gone over what basically every player will have, let's go over the cool kids club. <coughs> anyway, now for all these, you can buy them separately, but you won't get the loading screen included with the bundle. Connie will be the first skin that will be a part of the Steven Universe event, and she will have three styles. The only reason it's not two is because one of them is just a recolor. Her default outfit is her movie design with the white polo. The second style will be a recolor, which is her future version, which will have her change to an orangey version of her polo. The last style will actually look different and will be from the movie, her astronaut suit. She will have a pickaxe backbling combo that contains her sword and sheath. Just like all of these types of combos, when using the pickaxe, you actually cannot see it in the back bling, and if you're not using it, you can see it in the back bling. Time for Garnet, who will be in a bundle with Connie. Garnet will also have three styles because they are all essentially recolors, and the default outfit is her future design. She will also have her season one design and her reform design from Jailbreak onwards. Garnet and the rest of the gems will have no back bling, but will have an emote with their pickaxe. The emote for Garnet will look something like this, and will have her summoning her gauntlets pickaxe. The pickaxe will have her use the punching animation, like the Hulk, not in the battle pass. These weapon summon emotes will not be built in, but if you use them with one of the gems, their gem will glow regardless of which emote you use them with. If you purchase these skins in the bundle, you will also get this loading screen of Garnet's Wedding. On to the second bundle, for Pearl and Amethyst, and Pearl will only have two styles since they aren't recolors. Her future design, and her design from Steven and the Swordfighter onwards. Her harvesting tool will be her spear, and instead of using the default animation, hers will be the newer staff animation as seen here. Her summon weapon emote will look a little something like this, and again will make the gems glow if you use it with one of those skins. Amethyst will also have three styles since they are mostly recolors, and for her first, it'll be her design from Future. Then her original outfit from Season 1, and finally, her white redesign. Amethyst pickaxe will actually be whips. <gasps> yeah, I know. Fortnite is actually going to do better than Brawlhalla. Oh wait, that's not a hard thing to do. Anyway, it will be two whips, and if you played some Fortnite, you might know what animation I'm giving these. Her whips will have the dual whip animation. Yeah, crazy, right? Amethyst weapons summoning animation will look a little something like this, and if you buy Amethyst and Pearl in the bundle, you will get this image as a loading screen. This isn't just going to be a cash grab item shop, no, 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 no. It's also going to be a big event with challenges, NPCs, and mythic items. Let's go over the items first. The first item will be Steven's Bubble. This would be a reskinned group mythic from Chapter 2 Season 4, but his bubble is slightly see-through and would mean the character inside would need an animation. The character would have their arms spread out and have them running. Oh, wait. I forgot. What exactly does this item do? Well, it puts a shield around you that has about 500 health, more or less, depending on balancing, and makes you have faster movement. While the bubble is active, you will also be healing yourself slowly. This does not heal shield, only health. As a drawback, however, you cannot deal damage while in this state. The second and final mythic that will be active during this event is the Rejuvenator. This item is completely original and will not deal any damage. Instead, it will be a fast moving scythe, the speed and swing of which will be similar to the Infinity Blade. 
and will also include the jump from that weapon as well. But when you hit a player, instead of dealing any damage, they will drop all weapons, mats, and just everything they have in general. If you don't know why I've made it do that, it's because in the show, the Rejuvenator reverts gems back to their default settings, and they lose all of their memories. So here, you get your loadout reset. To balance this item a bit, it takes a while to change from it to another weapon if you hit someone with it, allowing them a little bit of time to get mats or a weapon to fight back with. Both of these mythics can be bought from the 5 NPCs on the map, which take the form of the 5 Steam Universe skins I've already went over. Or, you can have a chance to find them in chess. Now to go over the free event cosmetics. By completing quests, you will gain points and gems. Basically, exactly like the Dragon Ball event, every few days you will get a new set of challenges that doing enough for that day will grant you a gem. I'll tell you about the cosmetics for collecting all of the gems in a bit, but first, the other items. The first one you unlock is a non-animated Steven Jump emoticon, and next you will get a level. Then a loading screen of the final shot of the original series, and the first cool item is next, being a back bling. This back bling is the diamond insignia, but is also reactive. For each elim you get, one of the diamonds will light up and make the corresponding sound before slowly fading. Continue this for each limb, and it will just randomly pick one of the diamonds to do this with. Next is another level up, but then a lapis snickering emoticon. Another level is next, but then a really cool emote. This emote will spawn a pink version of whatever skin you are wearing, and they will jump their feet onto yours. The two of you will start to do this dance from Change Your Mind, and then fuse back together. The next reward is another level, and the one after that is a spray with obsidian on it, followed by another level. The final reward out of this set is another emote. This emote is a sync emote that doesn't suck and can be used with or without someone else, and will use certain animations if you are using one of the gems, Steven, Garnet, Amethyst, or Pearl. But if you are not, it will play one of the four animations at random. They will do whatever animation in place, and synced in players will not do one of the animations already in use unless they are doing the corresponding skin. The emote plays music that will go on loop, sounds something like this. the emote goes forever until the original emote user stops using it. The reward for collecting all five gems is a glider, which will take the form of Steven's bubble. This glider will not be built in because it's free, but it will have the player do this animation and be in the bubble. There would be one major map change. Pink Diamond's leg ship has landed somewhere on the map. Like I've said, I've been working on this since before Chapter 4 was even announced, so not really sure where it would go on the new map, but I was originally going to put it next to the Foundation's leg statue, as a fun little joke thing, and would probably be funnier if you knew that it was also part of a full body ship. So on top of the ship is where you will find Steven, and a reskin launch pad that looks like a warp pad. You can obviously purchase his bubble item here, and the scythe. This is actually the only NPC that will sell both items. The warp pad on top is so that you can get down if you land up there. The other four NPCs are obviously Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Connie. Garnet would be in the volcano, and the water inside of the volcano would be replaced with lava from chapter one. Amethyst would be in the desert region, and a little bit around her would be turned purple to go with the kindergarten from the show. Connie would be located in Coney Crossroads, and would be just located in one of the houses. Pearl was really hard to figure out somewhere for her to go, so I just decided to stick her on the top of the tallest snowy mountain. Anyway guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't already, subscribe, and uh, eat your celery. Uh, bye bye